이들은 부족한 노후 자금을 어떻게 관리하고 있을까요? 집이 있어야 마음이 좀 편안하다고 해야 되나? 그런 게 있는 것 같아요. 집에 살고 있거나 집을 갖고 있는 사람의 비율이 사상 최고치를 기록했습니다. 또 중간 가격 정도의 집을 장만하려면 5년 7개월 동안 연봉을 한 푼도 쓰지 않고 모아야 하는 것으로 나타났습니다. 곽준영... 我们是那么重要，对吗？I It's the poor that are greedy. You know, if you think about it, because to be rich, you have to give something. You know, you have to, I, I have to produce books and games, and I, I purchase real estate, I provide housing, provide jobs and all that. That's why I'm rich. But greedy people produce nothing. It's a transfer of value. The way I see it is the people who make the most money are the people who deliver the most value into this world. Follow the money, by that I mean, Their hidden agenda can be discerned and discovered if you really can figure out, okay, who's going to make the money, who is making the money, who's got the money, who wants the money. If you can follow the money, if you can figure out how the money is, what's happening, then you'll figure out a lot of the real stuff that's going on. Forget what the politicians say. That's garbage. Don't listen to what they say. Don't listen to all their platitudes. I hope that most people know by now. There's a hidden agenda everywhere, and you've got to figure that out. Possibly better to redistribute wealth then so that others are able to rise up, join the middle class, flee on a global scale. Redistribution of wealth does not achieve competition, because it turns out that what actually achieves competition is the sort of values that you impose in your work life. This is why if you have a bunch of people who win the lottery, disproportionately people who are poor and win the lottery end up poor again. The reason people are permanently poor in the United States is not because they don't have money, it's because they suck with money. They suck with money. And the average person, the reason they're poor is they haven't failed. You know, they play it so safe, they haven't made any mistakes like they taught in school, that means they don't learn anything. That's why the school system's actually fundamentally corrupt. It's anti-education. Oh, I'm an A student. I'm gonna, I'm going to do this all on myself, and a, and a bunch of rugby players run you over. And you go, well, they're not playing fair. Yeah, well, you're not. You're playing stupid. You should have a team. You should have accountants, attorneys, and bankers, and all that stuff. You know, the the game of business is played with accountants, attorneys, bankers. I hate to say it, politicians. You know, you gotta know the game. I'm an accountant of some sort. Mutual. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, it's garbage. It was a bullshit thing to rob you. How many of you own a home right now? Let me see your hand. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. And you put your money in there. You wanted money and you bought a house. You wanted money and then you put it in a fucking, uh, excuse me, in a retirement account. What'd you do, man? What were you thinking? Oh, I, my mama told me a house is a good deal. Do you know any rich people that say, my house made me rich? Okay. First of all, I gotta make more money. Everybody agree? Do you gotta make more money? Because if you, if you don't make more money, you ain't got any money. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your money. Don't spend your money. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. All she had to do was go make some more money. So you must spend some time out of your own country, no matter what it is. Uh, it's better to learn a language. I would certainly urge you to learn a, any language. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Chinese. And certainly to spend some time out of your own country because you're going to learn a whole lot more especially about yourself if you have to live in a foreign country for a while. If you've got to go and eat different food or buy in shops that you've never seen before, transportation systems that you have no clue about, it's going to make you learn a whole lot more. You're going to become much more self-reliant, that's for sure. And you're going to understand that the world is very different from what you think it is. <laughs> and that's a very good start. Your time is limited. Your energy is limited. If you only have income from your own, then you've guaranteed to limit yourself. That's why the world has become enslaved financially. One of the things you're going to have to do is self-educate. They were basically living paycheck to paycheck. And I was fucking appalled. There's something missing. See, you could be really, really brilliant. You could be really well-educated. You could work really, really hard and have no money. 
Either you'll adopt the same exact beliefs as your parents had, or you'll go the exact opposite way. People are always asking me, Ty, how to become a millionaire? Well, I got a question for you. When's the last time you read Will Durant? People go, never. I go, yeah, there's no hope for you. You haven't read books by the greatest thinker of the last hundred years, maybe, of civilization? Man, we live in such a weak-willed society that people want to never learn. They come out of high school, the average person never reads a nonfiction book again. I got news for you. If you're not a perpetual learning machine, there's no hope for you. You don't have to be a genius, but you have to be a learning machine. So study smart people and then you got a chance. Giving this knowledge out and yeah. do, do the rich people cringe and say, don't tell them that, Robert? Yes, yes, yes. Don't tell people what, they, what you know. Right. Keep them poor.